All right, guys. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you this really cool. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more of an intermediate type card trick. I didn't realize how many uh, advanced or more advanced magicians I actually had subscribed to me on my channel. I really thought this was just like purely beginners, uh, but apparently not. So I am going to be posting a little bit more uh, advanced tricks for you guys, so this channel can kind of appeal to everybody. So, anyways, here's the trick. So. Uh, we don't have to get too fancy with it. Let's just go ahead and shuffle up the pack, and then I'm going to go ahead and have you uh, pick a couple of cards. So uh, I'm going to riffle down. I'm just going to riffle down the side, and then you can tell me when to stop. So let's say here is a good place. We can set down, and then one more time, go ahead and tell me when to stop. Perfect. So we can set both of these cards off to the side right here in your, in your view, and then let's go ahead and mix up the deck once more. And now what I'm going to have you do is just cut the deck anywhere you like. Alright, so here, perfect. So let's go ahead and recap real quickly. So at the beginning at the beginning of the trick we went ahead and we shuffled up the pack and I had you pick two random cards in the middle. Then I uh, shuffled it up again and then I had you cut the cards anywhere you liked. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you some information about a deck, uh, deck of cards and this is the topic is soulmates. So briefly, I'm gonna go and explain what a soulmate is. Um, so if I said three of clubs, the soulmate would be the three of spades, okay? Because they're both black and they're both three of spades. So if I said the seven of diamonds, you would say the seven of hearts, okay? So there's this little theory about soulmates, and uh, you can see here that the first card you selected right over there happened to be the queen of clubs. Now, if you would go ahead and snap your fingers for me, but since you're not here, I'll snap them. You can see sometimes when you snap your fingers, the soulmates can actually find each other. And if you see over here, when you cut the cards, if we flip over, we have the Queen of Diamonds. Go ahead and give me another snap. You can see right here you've cut to both red queens, and you pick the two black ones over there. All right, guys, that's the trick, and uh, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so hopefully everyone uh, really enjoyed that trick. And uh, here's how you do it. So, um, so as you guys saw, it's it's a little bit more advanced than the other tricks I've been posting. It's just because you know uh, there's just a lot of beginners on here, but I didn't realize how many uh, advanced people I actually had subscribed to me. So, this one's gonna have a little bit more slights, and hopefully this one's uh, better for you guys who need something more advanced. So, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and take out the four queens from the deck right now. Alright, so hopefully you guys pause the video while I stop talking there for a second. And uh, you came back, you have your four queens, and this is what you're going to do. So, unfortunately, you do need a setup, I know. But it's still pretty cool, you guys saw. It's not that much of a setup. So the first thing you're going to do is take one red queen, set it on top of uh, the deck, and then take the other two black queens, and then set that on top like that. The remaining red queen is going to go on the bottom. So your setup is going to be queen at the bottom, or red queen at the bottom, two black queens at the top, red card third from um, the top, okay? So two black queens and a red one. So now that you have your setup all ready to go, this is what you're going to do. So uh, you're going to tell the spectators that you're going to mix up the deck, but obviously you do have a setup, so you want to maintain that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectators, okay, so let's go ahead and give the deck a good shuffle. So you're just going to make sure that you maintain um, the bottom and the top stock here. So obviously when I riffle down, in my left hand is going to be the red queen, and in my right hand it's going to be the three queens over here. So I want to make sure that my left hand riffles down first, and then I'm going to go through the deck, and then leave my right hand to finish last. Leave a big chunk of cards right there to make sure that no cards interfere with your three queens at the top. So very briefly, uh, that's not necessarily a move, just do whatever you have to in order to maintain the top stock and the bottom. You can do a false cut, but the thing with a false cut is that you don't want to flash this bottom part of the deck because obviously if you flash a queen at the bottom and then at the end you saw that you cut to uh, the red queens, if they see the red queen at the bottom it's going to be kind of, you know, just kind of suspicious. So don't flash that bottom card. And uh, here we go. So from here, you've already shuffled up the deck, and you're going to tell the spectators, okay, so let's go ahead and pick uh, two random cards from the middle of the deck. 
So obviously you have the two black queens on top, so they're not going to be random. You're going to be forcing these cards using the Riffle Force. Now when I do it, I like to have the deck in my right hand, but some people may, might want it in their left hand. So just do whatever you feel comfortable. Uh, just go ahead and reverse this if you need to, depending on um, your dominant hand or whatever. So what I do is I keep the hand or I keep the deck in my right hand just like this. So this is what it kind of looks like all around. Um, I'm going to break it down for you. You can see that my knuckle, my index finger, is applying pressure here. This knuckle is applying pressure throughout the bottom of the deck there, resting here. And then my three fingers, this is the important part, your three fingers, your three, uh, three finger pads need to be contacting the top card because you're going to be forcing the top card. This is called the slip force. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but this is what it's called. It's a type of slip force. And uh, here's what you're going to do. So you got to make sure these three fingers are applying pressure to this top card. This knuckle, is applying this knuckle is applying pressure so you can easily riffle down. So here's what you're going to do. So you're going to tell the spectators, okay, so we've already mixed up the deck, and let's go ahead and pick out a random card. So you're going to riffle down the side using your thumb, and now the spectator can, you tell them, okay, go ahead and say stop whenever you want, and now whenever they say stop, go ahead and take that packet that's right here, with your middle and your thumb, take this packet here, but maintain contact with the top card using these fingers. You're going to slide out the top packet, and through the cover of your left hand, you're going to peel this top packet this way. So you peel it this way using these two fingers, applying pressure with these. You pull it away with the middle finger and the thumb. These fingers apply pressure, and you take out the packet like this, this left hand is covering the uh, the force. If you're going quickly, they're not going to see it anyway. So, and then you just deal off the top card, and that's going to be a queen. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to put this packet in your left hand, and put it right back on top of the deck. You're ready to go for your next thing. So, obviously, you just forced the top card, queen of spades. So, the next card down is going to be the queen of clubs. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the cards in your hand just like you were before. Do the same thing. Riffle down with your thumb, apply pressure with that index back here. Now, wherever they say stop, take the packet with here with your fingers, apply pressure with the bottom fingers down here, the, the bottom three, pull out the top packet, can, and then take that card out, deal it down, and you've just forced the second queen. So you have the second queen already forced, and it's down there. Now, from here, you can tell the spectators, okay, so what I'm going to do, let's just go ahead and mix up the deck one more time. So obviously now you're left with one red queen on top, one red queen on the bottom. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do another shuffle, but leaving those cards in contact. So the same way you did before. You riffle down the cards, and obviously in your left hand you're going to have a red queen. And at the top, at your right hand, you also have a red queen. So you riffle down, the left hand first, go through, now you leave your right hand on top. Leave a whole chunk of cards just to be safe if you need to. Leave that chunk there. Now you got a red queen on top, red queen on bottom. You're ready to go. Now from here, uh, you can tell the spec you're going to force. that. This is a really awesome way to force the top card and the bottom card at the same time. So from here, you tell the spectators, okay, so, you, so I went ahead and I shuffled the deck up again. And now go ahead and cut the cards anywhere you like. So they take about, let's say, half the cards. And now don't complete the cut. Take this half, the top half, and put it horizontal right there like that. And don't mention it. Like, don't say, okay, I'm just going to mark the cut or anything. I've seen people do that before, but you don't really have to mention it. Just leave it there. Say, okay. So let's go and do a quick, a quick recap, just so you can misdirect the spectators just for a second. And you say, so we went ahead, I shuffled up the pack, and then you pick two random cards over here. Then I shuffled it up again, and then you happen to cut the cards anywhere you liked. Okay. And now from this point, you're going to introduce the spectators to the idea of a, uh, of a um, soulmate. I almost forgot what that was called. Uh, you, you tell the spectators, okay, so there are, these thi there are these things called soulmates in a deck of cards. So if, we have a th if I have a three of clubs, the soulmate would be the three of spades, obviously because they're both black and they're both threes. So uh, you just want to make sure the spectators aren't confused because, uh, like I said before in my last video, a confused spectator is not good. Not a good not a good thing to have. So the spectators have to know what a soulmate is. So you tell the spectators, okay. So sometimes, you see, soulmates can actually uh, call out to each other and they can pull each other back. So you can see, watch. The first card you happen to pick was the Queen of Clubs. 
So and, the, and now from here you can tell the spectators, so go ahead and snap your fingers for me. So and this is really cool because now the power is in the spectator's hands and now the spectator snaps and you say, look, sometimes the soulmates actually attract. And you see we have two black queens over there. And if you look over here on this side, you actually cut to any cards. And now from here, obviously, uh, you forced the cards. So this is what you're going to do. You can take the top half, this top packet, and you're going to say, look, so the first card you happen to have... The first card that you picked happened to be the Queen of Hearts. So go ahead and snap again. The spectator snap. And now you just flip over the card over here. And you say, look, that's also a queen. And this is a really cool trick, guys. It it will amaze the spectators. Um, and uh, basically, that's it. Make sure you practice your slip force. And uh, that's it, guys. That's the trick. I hope this one works out for you guys. And thanks for watching.